Hey everybody, I'm Blitz. Welcome back to another episode of Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. Today we're taking a look at this amazing footage of the new rocket launcher unit. <laughs> Watch this guy. Ooh, fires off the missile. I guess an RPG bazooka. I'm not exactly sure what it is, but this thing is, oh, uh, rocket jumping. <laughs> he used himself as a projectile. Oh, and it gets the Valkyries. How cool is that? Uh, so yeah, totally new World War faction unit. The bazooka going against different units. Oh, and a woolly mammoth. Oh, we've got buckled down. What is this guy? What is that guy? What did he say? Oh, we're gonna have to take a look at that in a little bit. That must looks like a new archer or something. Huh. Very interesting. So let's take a look at that clip again, and we're gonna go slow motion. Look at that bazooka. Or is it a rocket RPG? Looks like a bazooka instead. We'll call it the bazooka. And those bullets going in, bombing them up. That's actually a really, really, really big puddle of uh, uh, AOE damage that it does. Also, make sure to check out and see if there are any hidden units. As you guys know, it looks like Landfall loves to throw in hidden units into these maps. But check it out. Man, those bullets fly and they blow them up. These Valkyries look pretty powerful before, and we already know how powerful the Woolly Mammoth is. And this guy, what does that say? Oh, I'm gonna have to, we're gonna have to slow it down and take a look at what it says. Ooh, he got smeared. Alrighty, so let's take a look at this in one quarter speed. We have the big old bazooka ready to go, and it looks really, really cool. I like the artwork of it. Uh, looks, I mean, it's solid. It's got a tube on the ends, and it's got like a little flare on the front and the back. It's holding it up pretty good. I wonder what there, if there is any recoil, if they shoot it and they fly backwards a little bit. I think that real bazookas actually do have uh, some recoil to them. But those three of them, uh, ooh, is that the missile coming out? It is, look at that. Oh, you can actually see it there. And watch how many guys it blows up too. And make sure to look, make sure to keep in mind that there might be hidden units in, in the rest of these blue guys too. Pretty big AOE explosion. I like it, I really do like it. We have another beehive or a stump on the ground there. That thing looks super awesome. Look at that go. And it's flying in right into the middle of the units. And kaboomski. I like it. <laughs> uh, oh, they're almost... Is that a guy? Nope. Uh, I thought the guy closest to the screen looked different, but he had just a regular sword. Look at the sword in the top left flying way up into this guy. And a bunch of guys wandering in now. Oh, <laughs> and he shoots the ground. I wonder why he shoots the ground. Is this Halo 2 again when you're rocket jumping, flying through the air? and using yourself as a projectile. I wonder if it'd actually kill. Would that be interesting? Uh, he'd actually kill the other guys by jumping into them? I think that's kind of suicidal because his buddies are about to shoot in there. Look at these Valkyries too, uh, getting hit by, oh, right there, right there. Oh, man, that's a big explosion that happens too. And then it looks like some uh, explosion kind of continues on. I wonder if these guys, it looks like that one took a direct hit, but he still survived. Interesting. These guys have to have a high hit point pool. Still those explosions going crazy. And they're flying around still. Oh man. Though Okay, the Valkyries are going to be a really, really strong unit. They have to be. Uh, oh, there's shadows down too. <laughs> here comes here comes the Woolly Mammoth. He doesn't even know what's going to hit him. Oh, the trunk got knocked back. That's awesome. I like watching these in slow motion mode a little bit too. Because you can kind of get a, a better picture of what's happening. What does this say now? What does that say on his little uniform? It looks like retired, <laughs> retired poacher. <laughs> okay, it's got a little a beard on too. So if you guys remember way, way back, there was a unit called the poacher. And evidently he's making his way back into the game. That's kind of awesome. And he's gonna get blasted by about 50 million uh, BTUs of explosions here. Oh, he got nuked. Look at that explosion. <laughs> he just got, he got vaporized by all the RPGs. Alrighty guys, so I hope you liked the rocket launcher dude as much as I did. A really cool unit. I can't wait to actually test him out in the World War Battle Faction, whatever it is, uh, once we get the game. Hopefully in the next month or two, uh, we'll be getting a game launch. They haven't announced a release date yet, but I smell that it's really, really close. Because because I can smell what a game smells like or something dumb. I don't know. I just made that up. Anyway, uh, if you guys remember back to last episode, I said to give me your suggestions on my Facebook page, which I linked down below in the comments section. Uh, so we're going to go through some of those uh, suggestions here, and then I'm going to go over to the YouTube page and get some good suggestions from that, too. So if you do want to get uh, a suggestion into the video, please do go to my Facebook page, which uh, I have linked down below, I hope. Uh, anyway, it's way down in the description, maybe. Or I just put it in a comment that's pinned or something like that. 
So go ahead and find that out, or you can go to the last video and find it too. Uh, probably easier since a lot less people go there. So if you do have a really good suggestion you want to see, go ahead and let me know. Uh, so Lucas said to do a battle against me. So he he did the gravity bomb. So we have three gravity bombs, which is a gravity dude, plus the roly bomby, and then we got 20 Vikings, 10 of the... Uh, pistols, two of the projectile shields, and then two ballistas and a beamer. This is a really difficult one. Uh, so I'm going to try to match him with the money. I'm going to start it off with two box guns. We'll just we'll just see if we can do something with the box guns. I'll put those on the side. I do like the headbutters, but I'm going to start with uh, three axemen. I'm going to try to counter his attack with my axemen, and then behind the axemen we're going to put in maybe maybe 15 to 20 of these guys. Let's just try it right here. So I got 20 of the headbutters in. My money is halfway through, which is kind of interesting. I do really like the ballistas, so I'm going to try to get two ballistas in here. Where are they? Uh, let's put in, I guess, right there and right here. We'll put in the ballistas there. That could help. I also want to put a chariot on both sides, too. So we'll put a chariot right there, and we'll put a chariot over here. Hopefully these guys will rush in and uh, try to knock some uh, things away. We have a thousand money yet. Uh, what is, ooh, 800. I like that idea. We'll put one of those way in the back and I guess we'll finish it off with uh, some more of the head butters. So, uh -huh. so that's pretty close. I'll give him the benefit of the doubt and give him a little bit extra money. We're going to start this off and we'll see what happens. So the gravity bombs are going to go off and, oh, oh, oh no, oh no, oh no, that's not good. Um, I was hoping that we didn't get the headbutters into the battle. Uh, both of my chariots are dead, and it looks like they... Oh, man, that's a... I just... I think that's a friendly fire shot. Uh-oh. Okay, so that's gone. Uh-oh. Axemen are gone. We still have one ballista here, and we still have a box cannon. Oh, we still have a box cannon. We can still win this. Hey, look at this guy. He's got two ballista bolts in his chest. Oh, almost a third one. Oh, we did it. We actually managed to win that. Are you kidding me? I didn't think I'd win. Okay, well, let's back it up. We're just going to look. Oh, what a perfect box placement. Oh, that's two perfect box cannons. I think those box cannons might be ridiculously overpowered. Uh, but most of the infantry is gone. We still have some of the box cannons. Wow, what was that explosion? Ooh, no, that was a friendly fire on the ballista across the map. We got a box cannon back here. Oh, he just de detoured from the box. Uh-oh, uh-oh. So we still have one box cannon and one of the lightsaber dudes against three of their guys? Yep, uh-oh, let's see. Oh, he's down. Okay, a box went out. Oh, that would have been really close. So I'm gonna hit it one more time. Best out of three challenge. Let's see how this works. Oh, we lost our, we lost our horse. Oh, the horse is still alive. Go horsey, go. Oh, he just got shot down like a, like a horse that got injured or something. Broke a leg. We have some fire happening. Oh, the beamer just took out uh, the, the projectile tower. And this looks, that's looking good. Oh, wow. I did not know that the uh, energy cannon, oh, the beamer's gone. I didn't know that the, the energy box would do that. Uh-oh, that's another victory. Red victory. I couldn't do it. Lucas, you have bested me. That's a pretty good attempt. For some reason, you guys always like to see the the super peasants versus the box, or the, the other peasants. So I'm going to try it. You said 20 versus 1. I don't really know what happens. Usually what happens is they all fly in, and then they carry them off the map, and then everyone falls off uh, like that. And, oh, oh, yep, oh, nope, they're back on. And they're still alive, sort of. <laughs> this is weird. I always like this, that they just kind of smash them. Oh, did these two actually die? Nope, they're alive. They're alive. And now they're going to stuck on the wall. And, hey, come back here. They fly super high up into the sky. And they don't really know what they're doing anymore. Uh-oh. Okay, what's going to go on? Oh, he's still flying back to the ground. We got some stragglers in here that are going to dive in, push everyone off the map. And then they're going to go. Uh, so, yeah, that's usually how the uh, Super Peasant versus the Dark Peasant fights go. Another interesting one that gets brought up a lot is Chicken Man Man versus M16s. Because those are big and the M16s do a lot of damage. So, let's do a little arc. Uh, let's see. Giuseppe says 30 M16s versus two of these other guys. So we'll just spread it out like that. Uh, and I mean, look at the look at the price difference here. So we might try the price difference because there is no hope. There is absolutely no hope 
for our two chicken men men. So we're gonna double up or quadruple up or just put in a whole bunch of chicken men men until all the prices are the same. And it's about 22 to 23. <laughs> Let's see, I'll, I'll do 22 versus 30 and we'll see what happens here. What usually happens is we get a ton of chickens coming in. Look at them, look at them getting sliced apart by the energy bullets of the M16. I don't know why it's energy bullets. Wait. How'd the box? Oh, it's a regular box. I thought it was a box cannon. Now, what we need to look at is the chickens. The chickens have kind of played decoy, or the the dark, or the big peasants, big chicken men men have uh, done a good job of taking the bullets as the chickens roll in. And it looks like there's like five left. Oh, and it gets so laggy. Look at all those chickens. I don't think it can. I don't think it'll work. I think our. I think the chicken men are gonna destroy this. And we're gonna. We have to see what this guy does down here. Oh, chicken to the head. And he is down and out. Pretty, pretty fair on that. Uh, that just shows me that these guys are a little more powerful than these with the same money. <coughs> Leslie Love says the Roman army with 40 shields, 40 spears, and 5 cannons versus me. Uh, so I'm going to do the same thing and 6,900 money spent. That's an interesting one. That's an uh, interesting thing. I'm gonna try to do a little bit of Asian influence here. We're gonna roll in with some watches. And just because I think it would be fun, I'm doing the rest of them as Taekwondo. So we got 140 Taekwondo units and four watches. And we'll see how this goes. Uh, oh, they're gonna jump over, uh-oh. I might might do some friendly fire here. Oh man, uh, this is gonna be a lot of friendly fire. Actually, that's actually pretty good. Maybe. <laughs> That's a lot of friendly fire. And I'm pretty much lost already. Great. <laughs> that was a fun attempt anyway. Uh, watches proved to be a little bit derpy uh, with the old friendly fire incident going on here. Wow. We have one man who just got skewered in the back. Okay, I spread him out a little bit differently. Let's see if this makes any difference here. Uh-oh. So they hit the pillars in front of him. That's a good sign. Actually, it took out quite a few. How did these watches do? That one kind of flipped upside down, but it did take out four. That's a good sign. Uh, we got a nasty little battle happening with our Taekwondo against the shields. Hmm, I don't know. Ooh, the cannonball flying over top. I kind of like this, this is cool. I wish I wish there was like an influence on the battle that showed. Oh, that guy just got hit in the back. Whee! <laughs> a flying Taekwondo unit. Uh, oh, that was a good kick. That was a good kick, buddy. That was a good kick. Too bad you kicked yourself dead. You kicked the bucket. Uh, oh, go, 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 go. Oh, that dude just took out three with one hit. So that's the problem with the Taekwondo guys. There's no way to get behind the shield. Oh, he's still alive. Go, man. Go. Whoa, nice dodge. No, you're gonna dead. You're gonna get dead. You're gonna get dead. Ooh, he's out. Okay, so I switched out the watches for box cannons. We'll see. We'll see how this rolls. It, literally, the, the box cannons kind of roll. Oh, no! Oh, wait, did we get any? Did we get any? Oh, it didn't break out. Wow, <laughs> we got a cheater up in there. Okay, let's see how this side works. This could be really bad for us. Uh, these boxes don't look to be going into great places. That's right in the middle of the blue team, you dingus. Ah, it's not terrible. Oh, we got two red guys in there. Yeah, take them out. Okay, not so bad, not so bad. Right in the middle of the army again. And, oh. Please don't kill any blue guys. <laughs> Look at all that. That's awesome. There's so much uh, death and destruction going on there. Okay, now it's one versus five. That guy just flipped upside down. Come on. Well-placed box. Well-placed box. That's not good. That didn't work well. I think I have it this time. I put in three sword masters. This could do it. Ooh, that might be a good box. Oh, that's right on the edge. And these boxes are messed up. So that boxes don't work too well. Ooh. Okay, oh, that's pretty good. That's a good shot, look at you, you actually captured one. Good job, dude. And our ninja masters, or our energy sword masters are still rolling. Ooh, that box just rolled up the hill. Interesting, we have three left, and they're still alive. Um, oh, they're, I don't like that they're right on top of each other, cause AOE attacks, and there's five of them left. We need this box cannon to go in and do some destruction here. Please, box cannon. Please, no, box cannon, don't shoot the ground. Don't shoot the ground. Don't shoot, don't, you shot the ground. And you killed yourself. How can we defend? How can we win this? There is no hope for the blue kind. Man, I have to win. I've changed it out. I've got a gravity bomb, three gravity bombs, three beamers, three chariots, and a whole bunch of headbutters. There is no chance that the red team can survive this, except when our, our chariots run right into the, the middle of the mess. 
<laughs> oh, get dominated. Now, Chariot, why do you do that to me? So we do have all of our headbutters that come over here, and it looks like they really messed up the red team. Uh, oh, nice. The beamers have started their destructive decomposition of the cannons. And here comes the headbutters. In Oh, man, there's another good beamer shot. And that last one is going to get in serious trouble by the headbutters. And bingo, bingo, Alakazam. Oh, the snipers took care of it. Mage, I made it. I finally managed to do it. So we're going to try another Ghostbuster. Uh, and you guys said Minecraft Nerd Bravery Squadron said four of the Tesla dudes versus one super peasant. And I just clicked three. And those weren't even the right guys. <laughs> so we'll try this. Uh, we'll see how many it takes because four is totally not the right amount. Ooh, <laughs> zap, 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 zap. I have to do the sound effects because I don't know why. That was stupid. So now if we match up the prices, it uh, might be a little bit different. Let's try matching the prices here and see if we can actually kill this guy. Ooh, it's got the knockback effect. So that's the sweet spot, wherever we can get the knockback without him dodging in. It looks like we're probably going to get him off the map. That's my guess. Before he actually dies, we're going to fling him off the map. Ghostbusters. Oh, he's not off the map. It's kind of weird depth perception. Goodbye. Fly, you fool. It's kind of weird that they don't get up. And these guys, I love it. They're just like lemmings. Off the map we go. Someone just died. How are they dying? Seriously, how'd you guys drop your little lightsaber things? Your little Ghostbuster thing. That guy, he's like, I ain't, I ain't jumping off. Not me. I ain't doing it. Not me. I'm not jumping. Never mind. And for the last one today, it's kind of a cool one. Uh, Joe Montgomery says, 300 barrel rollers versus 15 footmen. Right. <laughs> 15 footmen and one ninja. Wow. We'll see what happens. Um, most of the time when you do something like this, uh, the barrel rollers just kind of spontaneously combust and all blow up. It's like a giant chain reaction of awesomeness happening. Boom, boom. There it goes. There it goes. They're all going to run over each other. This ninja's hopefully going to stay in the back far enough. There it comes. Yes. It's like popcorn. Wee. And they all start flying up into the air too. I always like it when a big area of them explodes like this. Watch this right here. These guys are going to pop like popcorn. Pop, pop. <laughs> Yay. Oh, that guy died. That's too bad. I'm going to change it out to a chicken man because chicken men uh, usually flee or they walk away. They get close enough to poop their chickens out and then they just stay away from battle. So I just want to see the big chain reaction fireworks going on. Here they come. Fireworks for days. Wait for the chain reaction. Uh oh! <laughs> Yay! Oh, we got another. We got another pot of them back here. Look at that! I love how they just group up. They're not even smart enough to go in their own direction. Maybe they can't control. I don't know. Oh, Chicken Man! Hey, we actually have Dave the Footman still alive too for a little bit until he walks into the big carnage. Oh, I didn't see that one. Now this one's about ready to go. These guys are starting to get dark. It looks like this one is anyway. He's on the fire. Uh oh! Hey, wait! Oh, they lived! They lived! Go, Chicken Man! Oh, no! Chicken Man! Chicken Man! The blue race is alive and well with you. Don't stay away! Stay away from the fire! <laughs> Look at him dance! He's like, I'm a dancing, I'm a dancing chicken man, pooping man chickens out. Uh oh. Wait a minute. This, is, this isn't the way it's supposed to happen. This guy's gonna get stuck on a rock. Bonk! Oh, he's going over the rock! Come on, chickens, do your thing! Oh, nice! You got some area of avoidance going on. Oh, he's doing it. He's doing it. Chicken man, don't walk in. Don't walk in now. Don't walk into the fire. Do your dance. Do your little chicken man dance. Just dance like a chicken man dances. Yes. And now, you are about to have some fun, chicken man. Drop that poop. Drop it. Drop a little. Drop a little feathered poopy. Just a little turd nugget coming out. Come on. And then you're going to drop that, and he's going to run over there, and he's going to blow up that whole big mess. And I'm going to get in position so it looks awesome. I hear the chicken go. Here they are. Here they are. Watch this big explosion. Are you ready? Are you ready for this? Oh, here it comes. Here it comes. Maybe. I hope. Boom. Yes. Here it comes. This is it. This is it. Oh, there, yep, there it comes. Okay, they're ready to go. Maybe. <laughs> it's not exploding like I want it to. Hurry up. There it is! Whoa! <laughs> yeah, that is so much fun. I like it. And there's still like four guys over there. These guys are over here. 
I have a feeling that we're gonna win as the blue team. There comes another big pack of chickens out. There's like six of them in there. They took out that group. Here comes another one. Ooh! One chicken! A one chicken surprise! And those guys aren't on the fire, actually. Here comes two more chickens. Ooh, perfect! The time just ran out. Boom! Boom! Those are two dead. That chicken just, uh... He just died right in the crotch of that guy right over there. Here comes four more. Ooh, nice! Nice! Oh, another good explosion. Okay, little chicken. You can do it. It is your destiny to hit that guy. Kill him. That worked well. Three more going away. Nice job. So one little chicken wandering his way across the Arctic wasteland to blow up three more guys. He's so far away. Uh, I'm going to call this one on the blue team. I feel like the blue team won this. Uh, it's killed a lot anyway. Okay, I'm going to do one more. And this is 10 footmen versus 25 peasants. This is by Aaron the Gamer. I just wanted to get one more in here. Kind of an easy one. I have a feeling... Oh, he said 20. I put 25 in. I have a feeling that the uh, the Dave army is going to beat up all these little peasants. Whoa! <laughs> he flew super far. That's awesome. Yep, there's there's 25 dead. Now I'm going to match the price and do 50 peasants. Hopefully this comes out a little more even. Peasants are a little bit overpowered. Uh, anything that swarms a lot is overpowered. Uh, the head butters, taekwondo guys, any of those guys are a little bit overpowered. Unless you take them against the box cannon or ballista. And it does look like these peasants have met their match with the army of Daves. And guys, that is going to do it for today's video. Go ahead and drop me some comments down below of what to do next time. And keep your stick on the ice. We'll see you later.